Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to use regular expressions in Google Sheets. At first, you might think, what's a regular expression? When I first heard these words, I had the same thought, confusion, but then that turned into curiosity and excitement. When I learned, it could do some pretty cool things. Things that a find and replace couldn't really do, like remove middle names from a mail list, or change out email domains in less steps. That's the power of regular expressions in Google Sheets. Let's check it out. So here in Google, I've got this list of names, and some of them have middle names that are spelled out. Some of them just have the initial, and you can see that they're highlighted here. And we want to turn them into just maybe first and last names. Now, this is going to be using find and replace. If we wanted to replace all these with just the first and last names, we're going to use something called find and replace and regular expressions. And find and replace to do this is probably pretty easy, but there's another one that I'll show you how we can do it with a lot of emails. And I'll show that example closer to the end of the video and you can see how that one's kind of a little bit more cool. But this one's uh, using find and replace. So I can go to edit, find and replace, or just press control H is going to bring up the find and replace menu. Now, the regular expression I'm going to use is dot plus space dot plus space dot plus. And you may be thinking, what is all of that? Well, these are the regular expressions. Now, I have to click this. I want to search with regular expressions. And if you want to see regular expressions, what they kind of mean, there is a Google uh, document. It's really, really comprehensive. And here's a document that kind of guides you through the guidelines for using regular expressions and the syntax that it uses and the syntax that we're going to be using. The period here, you know, it matches any single character and the plus sign basically um, multiples of any characters. And in our example, it's looking for characters, any characters before a space. Here's some examples of regular expressions. And I'll cover one of the examples here in a more simple form in the next example. So coming back to my name example, where we want to get rid of the middle name, what we're doing is we're looking for anything before space here. And so what we want to do is replace it with just the first and last name. So here, what we need to do is we need to do some groupings. And to do the groupings, we have to place the first one in opening and closing parentheses, that's the first name. And here is the last name, that's right? So this is kind of like our identifiers for, for the first and the last name. That's the first grouping, this is the second grouping. And so in order to replace it with the first and second groupings and remove the middle name, we need to have a dollar sign one for the first grouping and dollar sign two for the second grouping. And if I do replace all, you'll notice that all the middle names have been removed here, whether it was a full middle name or initial, and it's taken care of that. So you can see here, with regular expressions, you can get pretty gnarly if, if you really want to dig into it. But if you know some simple expressions, and instead of creating a lot of functions kind of to split the names and concatenate back together, you can just do this find and replace here with some of the regular expressions. So let's go this, close this example here. Let's go to the email example. So with the email example here, let's say that we want to change all these ones that have Hotmail or Live to Outlook.com because they are all Microsoft properties and maybe these are old emails and we want to change all that. And one way you could do it, of course, you can do find replace your Hotmail and then change it to uh, Outlook.com and then and then do a second step of finding anything that's Live.com and then changing it to Outlook.com. But with regular expressions, you can do that all in one shot. So if I select all this, do a Control H to find and replace. So here with the email, so here what I'm gonna do is type a period and then a plus. So any, any amount of characters before the at sign and I will have my grouping of uh, variables that I want to search for. So one, the first one's gonna be hotmail, hotmail.com and then the second one and I have to delineate that with a pipe. So that's a vertical um, line there, hotmail.com and the next one is live.com. Close parentheses. And what do we want to replace? We want to replace it with a dollar sign one and outlook.com. But since this is our, this grouping is already there in parentheses, that's going to look for that and then replace it. So I want to have my first grouping be this regular expression there. So the dollar one is going to keep that and replace anything within this. So once I click search for regular expressions, click replace all. Now you notice that everything has been replaced. Either hotmail.com or live.com has been replaced with outlook.com. And that's a way that you can do this bulk find and replace if you know a little bit about regular expressions. They can get kind of complex, but it's very useful to kind of streamline your work. And instead of doing a find and replace twice, one for hotmail and the other one for live, you can just do it all at one time. 
Though it might sound scary at first, learning regular expressions is not that bad if you've got some simple cases. The ones shown in the video are some of the basic ways we could use regular expressions to solve a problem. But don't let that stop you from learning more and applying it to your harder problems. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? Well, here's a joke. Why did the banana go to the doctor? It wasn't peeling well. <laughs>